Question number 96. Energy captured by plants to perform photosynthesis is approximately. Plants capture light to perform photosynthesis and it is 2 to 10 percent of the power which is photosynthetically active radiation. So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the another question. Question number 97. Read the following statements and select the correct option. Statement A. Ecological pyramids do not take into account the same species belonging to two or more trophic levels. Statement B. Saprophytes are given highest trophic level in an ecological pyramid. Statement A is correct that ecological pyramids, they do not take into account the same species belonging to the two or more different trophic levels. It is true. For example, if a bird is occupying more than one trophic level in the food chain or the food web, then ecological pyramids won't consider it. Saprophytes are given highest trophic level in an ecological pyramid. No, saprophytes are not given any position in the trophic levels as they can be present at any trophic level. So, they are not given any position in the ecological pyramids. So, Statement B is incorrect. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's see the another question. Question number 98. Select the odd one with respect to the changes in ecosystem characteristics that occur during succession. What happens during succession? Increase in number of species. Yes, during succession, there is pioneer community and serial stages and then the climax community. So, there is increase in number of species from pioneer to the climax community. Increase in humus content of the soil, definitely. Aquatic or dry conditions to mesic condition, it is also correct. Succession can start from the aquatic conditions or from the xeric conditions and both type of conditions lead to the formation of mesic condition at the end of the succession. So, this is also correct. Fourth, decrease in total biomass of ecosystem. No, there is increase in the total biomass of the ecosystem because there is increase in the number of species, increase in the diversity. So, there is increase in the total biomass of ecosystem. So, the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move to the another question. Question number 99. In which of the following ecosystems, pyramid of number could be inverted or spindle shaped? You have to see or emphasize here, it is pyramid of number. Pond ecosystem, it is upright. Grassland ecosystem, again upright. Agro ecosystem, again it is upright because the number of producers is high as compared to the number of herbivores and the carnivores. So, this pyramid of number will be upright. But in the tree ecosystem, you will consider a single tree. So, single tree is one in number, but the organisms which are feeding on tree, they are more in number. So, tree ecosystem can be inverted or it can be spindle shaped. When we consider parasites, it is inverted. When we consider the predator or the hawk, it is spindle shaped. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 100. Which of the following characteristics are not true for anthropogenic ecosystem? Anthropogenic ecosystem is the ecosystem which is man-made ecosystem such as crop fields. They are anthropogenic ecosystems. High species diversity? No. There will be no high species diversity because we deal with the single species, generally with the single species in the croplands. High productivity? Of course, it will be there. Complex food chains? No, it won't be there. Possesses self-regulatory mechanisms? No, man-made ecosystems are regulated by man. They are not self-regulatory. So, this is wrong. Little cycling of nutrients, yes, it will be there. So, which of the points will not be there? A, C and the D. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. 